Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 Master Graduation Ceremony of the Faculty of Law, Economics, and Finance. My name is Chantal Englert. I'm Communications Officer within the faculty, and this afternoon I have the honor of being your MC. Without further ado, and to officially open the ceremony, I would like to invite to the podium our Dean, Professor Kathleen Ligeti. Thank you. Dear graduates, dear colleagues, dear Rector Palage, good afternoon. It is my great pleasure to welcome you on the 2022 Master Graduation Ceremony of the Faculty of Law, Economics and Finance. We are gathered here today to celebrate neither the end nor the beginning. We are celebrating a meaningful and significant achievement of your life. Graduating from a university with a master's degree is something that you and your family should and can be proud of. All of us here, including myself and the professors, recognize the hard work, the perseverance which you have brought so far. We celebrate not only the outcome, but actually the process. It's not only the destination that counts, but the entire achievement, the path that took you here. It, it is now a moment to step back and remember those nights that you spent studying, researching your papers, working together in groups, doing your projects, writing your essays. It's actually easy to forget these small moments, but these moments combined together brought you here. It is also a moment to acknowledge those special people in your life that help you along this process, along this journey. Take a few seconds to think of them, parents, friends, a partner. Make sure to thank them for supporting you, whether they are here with us today or maybe not. You are setting out to a world which has been profoundly altered in recent years. Perhaps at the beginning of the pandemic, we believed that after COVID-19, we will return back uh, to our old reality. However, we returned actually to a new normal. You leave the university in a different world from the one where you entered it. We are living a new normal to which we all must adapt, but you can be proud that you gave yourself the keys and the tools to actually being able to adapt to this new reality and to succeed. You've invested in your education, and education is never a bad investment. Graduates of the Faculty of Law, Economics, and Finance, you are our future lawyers, entrepreneurs, economists, analysts, and the, the list of jobs that you will potentially take up is very, very long. You may end up working in sectors which are only emerging today. In fact, your chosen career field may look very different in five, in 10, or 15 years from now. I am confident, however, that your time with us has prepared you to grow in your professional careers and to keep up with the changes of the work world. Methods and formulas are, of course, at the outset of knowledge, but what is even more important is knowing how to open your minds to new ideas, to develop your curiosity and critical thinking. You have certainly learned during your time among us that adaptability and openness is crucial and one of the most important skills that you can cultivate personally and professionally. This is the true hallmark of higher education, something that I urge you to continue to develop as you move forward towards your new life. Some of you may pursue a higher degree in PhD education. Most of you actually enter the workforce, and uh, to my knowledge, most of you are already employed. Whichever your individual situation or aspiration, don't take your university education for granted. 
Stay curious about the world around you. You may no longer be a university student, but not being at university is no excuse to stop learning. Before I finish my remarks, I would actually like to thank you graduates for the trust that you put in our institution. In 2023, so next year, the university will mark its 20th anniversary. We are a very young, still a very young institution. In my time here, which is a bit more than a decade, the university has grown. I have seen us uh, welcoming a lot of excellent new colleagues, launching new programs, create partnership and opportunities for our students. We are able to grow to a large part thanks to you. You choose to study with us, you put the trust in our programs. And in turn, we give you the keys to build your future, but at the end, you remain the craftsman. You are at the start of an exciting journey filled with its own unique challenges and opportunities. It is up to you to make the most out of this. I would like to close my speech with one word that is most appropriate for this occasion, bravo. I would now like to hand over to our rector, Professor Stefan Palage. Bonjour. Madame, Madame la Doyenne, Mesdames, Messieurs, chers diplômés, Moyen, good afternoon, guten tag. Très chers diplômés, cette journée est une journée de grande joie. Cette journée vous appartient. C'est vous que nous sommes venus honorer. Cette cérémonie de remise des diplômes est un moment charnière. Au Québec, d'où je viens, on parle d'une cérémonie de collation des grades. Parce qu'en réalité, en termes académiques, nous vous remettons un grade. Le grade académique de bachelor, de master ou de PhD. C'est presque militaire. Dans votre cas, ce sera le grade de master. Vous en avez déjà deux. Les Américains parlent, eux, d'une cérémonie de commencement, pour une très bonne raison. À leurs yeux, ce n'est la fin de rien, c'est le début de tout. En ce 14 décembre 2022, nous célébrons votre réussite et tous les chemins possibles qui s'ouvrent à vous. Sachez que ces chemins sont aussi nombreux et aussi larges que vous le souhaitez. Vous avez les moyens de changer les comportements inefficaces autour de vous. Faites-le. Vous avez tous les outils pour inventer un avenir meilleur. Faites-le. Soyez des héros pour vos enfants, pour vos proches, pour vos amis, pour votre pays. Une autre vie commence à la sortie de cet amphithéâtre. Et croyez-moi, cette vie est magnifique. Your road to today's ceremony was not an easy one. It was in fact much harder for you than for most of your predecessors. You have accomplished a significant part of your studies during the worst pandemic the world has known in a hundred years. Your success is thus remarkable. It deserves the recognition of all. You have literally earned this degree, and we are very happy and proud to confer it to you. Dear graduates, you are entering a network of people that will be your most valuable team. Make sure you connect to those alumni who were sitting in this very room last year and the year before. A network is worth nothing without connections. So be active in that network. Make sure you make yourself known to your peers and help us follow your achievements. Together we do represent in an, in an incredible force. I have the pleasure, 
still for a few days, to be the rector of the University of Luxembourg. This university is special. It is only 19 years old, yet it already ranks in the top 25 world universities younger than 50, according to Times Higher Education. It also ranks fourth in the world among the millennials. There is a ranking you may not know, but it's an interesting one. It's called the Leiden Ranking. It forgets the past. It only focuses on the present. What is the quality of a university today or in the last four years? Well, quality in that ranking is measured as the proportion of articles we publish as a university that are among the 1% most cited of every discipline. In that ranking, the University of Luxembourg is ranked 54th in the world. Well, well before McGill, Toronto, La Sorbonne, universities like Zurich, Leuven, Amsterdam, Lausanne, and many, many other very famous universities. In that very ranking, the Leiden ranking, we are 16th in Europe. Cette université est aussi spéciale parce qu'elle est votre université. Vous serez désormais partout et chaque jour de votre vie les plus précieux ambassadeurs de notre communauté. Vous êtes, sans le savoir peut-être, déjà tatoué de ce rouge et de ce bleu qui forme nos couleurs. J'espère que vous serez toujours fiers de l'Université du Luxembourg, comme l'Université du Luxembourg aujourd'hui est fière de vous. Chers diplômés, c'est pour moi un honneur de m'adresser à vous. Je suis personnellement très fier de ce que vous avez accompli sur le chemin de cette graduation. Votre doyenne partage cette fierté et vos proches également, qui ont aussi partagé chacune des très très nombreuses émotions derrière ce diplôme. Je vous remercie d'avoir fait confiance à notre jeune et fougueuse université. Ah, merci Chantal. Je vous remercie d'avoir fait confiance à cette université qui est la nôtre, qui est aussi jeune que, que fougueuse. Sur le chemin qui commence aujourd'hui, n'hésitez jamais à rêver. Le monde manque très cruellement de rêveurs. Le rêve est pour moi l'un des plus importants devoirs du citoyen. Mais bien sûr, ne vous arrêtez pas au rêve. Faites en sorte que les meilleurs d'entre eux se réalisent. C'est la partie plus difficile, c'est la partie à laquelle vos études et toute la résilience que vous y avez développée vous ont préparé au mieux. Je vous souhaite beaucoup de succès. Je vous souhaite beaucoup de bonheur. Je vous souhaite de ne jamais, jamais, jamais vous ennuyer. Si cela devait arriver, voyez l'ennui comme un signe qu'il est temps de passer à autre chose. Die deutsche Sprache ist nicht die Sprache, die mir am leichtesten fällt. Aber es ist, mich, es ist mir wichtig, Ihnen auch auf Deutsch zu sagen, wie stolz ich bin, Sie unser sie zu unseren Absolventen zählen zu dürfen. Merci au gouvernement du Luxembourg qui investit de façon si visionnaire dans l'enseignement supérieur et dans la recherche. C'est sans, sans aucun doute le meilleur investissement, un investissement en vous, un investissement en votre avenir, un investissement en notre avenir collectif. C'est aussi un investissement dans la démocratie, plus que jamais, dans ce 21e siècle de toutes les remises en question, plus que jamais les universités ont-elles un rôle important à jouer dans le fonctionnement démocratique. À l'heure où la pensée critique se décline en 180 caractères, l'université assure un environnement de réflexion rigoureuse, indépendante, libre et dénuée de tout conflit d'intérêts. Elle offre un éclairage nuancé sur les grands enjeux de notre époque, établit avec rigueur ce qui est un fait et ce qui ne l'est pas, procure un avis expert sur les grands défis 
de la société. La vie des chercheurs de l'Université du Luxembourg lors de la pandémie a été absolument déterminante. Nous avons la chance de vivre dans un pays qui chérit ses valeurs et qui investit dans son université. Il y a peu d'endroits au monde, aujourd'hui, en 2022, où la dotation publique de l'État envers ses universités n'est pas en décroissance. Dans cette période de grande turbulence économique et d'inflation, le Luxembourg a choisi d'investir davantage dans la recherche et l'enseignement supérieur. C'est visionnaire, c'est remarquable, c'est la meilleure politique économique qui soit. Dear graduates, on the road ahead, remember to make the most of every day. As the digital revolution will create jobs that can hardly be imagined today, remain curious, keep learning, and stay in touch with your university. Life will undoubtedly take you back to school. The University of Luxembourg will be there for you. My address to you is one of my last public speeches. I will soon say goodbye to the university community and move back to Montreal, where I left uh, three children. COVID has changed distances, and it, it is time for my wife and myself to go back to Canada. I want to thank you for choosing our university instead of Lausanne, Zurich, Leuven, Amsterdam, or Paris. We appreciate your confidence. I personally enjoyed being your rector every single minute. Très cher diplômé, je vous félicite, bravo et merci.
Firstly, I'd like to thank Professor Leggetti and Professor Balaj for their kind words. Now, before we begin the conferment of all the master's diplomas, I just have a little information for our graduates. You'll be called to the stage together as a class. When you hear your class program, please move to the blue carpet. Then you cross the stage on the red carpet, shaking hands with your study program director, the dean, the rector will hand you your diploma. You move over there, sign the paper, but don't go back to your seat. Stay with your class, and then you'll come all together to the middle to take a group picture. So, now we can begin. We're beginning today with our departments of economics and management, as well as the department of finance. And the first one will be the master in accounting and audit. Your study program director, Professor Musich, has prepared a few words for you, so I'd like to invite her down to the podium. Dear graduates of the master program in accounting and auditing, the directors of studies, Professor Thomas Kasparait and myself, extend our warmest congratulations to you on your diploma. You have all worked hard and more than deserve your success. We hope that you have enjoyed your time studying in the master's program and that you have learned a lot beyond the subject matter. You have made friends, some of whom will last a lifetime. We are happy if you keep your alma mater in good memories. We sincerely wish you much success all the best for your future career and private life, satisfaction and a constant curiosity to learn new things. We look forward to staying in touch with you and assure you of our continued support whenever you feel you need it. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Professor Muslich. I would now like to invite Professor Ligeti and Professor Palage to the stage. Hello. I will call you uh, by your name and you can uh, come here to receive your diploma. Soraya Belem Rolo. Alta Sela. Rachele Colombo. Laetitia Dolé. Adriana Jacinto. <laughs> Melanie Camdem. <laughs> Florence Cor. Priyanka Kushva. J. Lee. Floriana Lechi. Alessandro Nicarico. 
Hugo Niratka. Marilène Ribeiro. Arta Rugova. Jérémy Rupert. Angelino Todi. Carlotta Valente. Sarah Van Petegem. Hazel Yusifova. Our next master to confer is the Master in Entrepreneurship and Innovation. Now graduates, I know you are eager to receive your diplomas, but please wait until I invite you to the stage. Your study program director, Michael Giraudel, wanted to leave you with a few words. He says, success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you will be successful. That's a quote from Albert Schweitzer. So he says, so, I wish you to be happy. I'd now like to invite our Dean, our Rector, and Michael Gerodel to the stage. The students can come down now, too. Hey, hi. So we start with uh, Bina Adikari. <clears throat> Maroon Altekli.
Lenya Queen Beloemende. Alina Biketova. Thomas Chantreau. Yasser Dalal. Louis-Kevin Gambu. Arch Kandoy. Marielle Kropf, Serdar Kulamanov, Colin McMurray, Durga Polépédi. Razavi, Judith Schleder, <coughs> Tong Shin, Bolaji Shuti. Marina Uretti, Kirian Van Hul, et Georgios Zakariades. Now we're moving on to the Master in Logistics and Supply Chain Management, and we're going to start with the Logistics and S Supply Chain Management track. I would like to welcome the Study Program Director, Professor Ox, to the stage because he has prepared a few words for the graduates. In terms of logistics, it's best if you move to the stage while we do this. It's a concurrent process, as I'm sure you know what that is. Um, first of all, I want to uh, congratulate you on behalf of Anna Lange, who is the study program director before I took over the role uh, this year. She sends her regards. That's what I wanted to start with. Second of all, I want to make sure that you realize Today is a day to be grateful because you succeeded, but also because all the people in your life who placed you in a position to succeed. 
you should be grateful to them. If you are grateful, you will be happy. And we just learned from Oliver Schweitzer that if you're happy, you will be successful. And that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Now the dean and the rector to the stage. Thank you. Kubra Baik. Herman Jimenez Palacio. Samuel Isa. Yuan Lu. Harika Marisetti. Ankit Nain. Kausalia Narasiman. Merima Palo Sachirovic. Lakshmi Ravi. Nandini Sharma. Livoti Engok. Moving on to the Master in Logistics and Supply Chain Management Digital Procurement Track. Don't come down right away. Please stay in your seats for just a few minutes. Your study program director, Professor Leondorf, could not be here today, and he does send his regrets, but he has left you with a few wise words. He says, if you are here today, you have worked long days and some nights to complete an intensive one-year program. Within that year, you have achieved a lot. You learned how to code. You honed your problem solving and people skills. You were continuously challenged by your instructors here and at MIT. You visited companies and worked with them on a project. You wrote a thesis and defended it successfully. And all of that in only nine months. You can be proud of yourself. Congratulations. So now may I have the rector, our dean, and the class can come down to the blue carpet. Jihan Bulat Singh Galach. <laughs> Yeon Yung Kim. <laughs> Marshall Movizi Manondo. Vedasri Rami Reddy. Rajiv Saini. Abhijit Prakash Surandash.
We now move on to our Master of Science in Finance and Economics, and we'll be starting with the banking track. So your study program director, Diane Pierret, has wished to say a few words to you. I invite her to come to the stage now. Dear students, now graduates of the banking track, um, I want to extend my warmest congratulations on this achievement. You have made it through a challenging track that has equipped you with a unique set of skills and knowledge to be successful professionals in the, in the financial sector. As our rector, Stefan Palage, mentioned in his speech, this is a beginning. This is certainly not the end of learning. I wish your learning curve to be as steep as possible uh, all throughout your career. And uh, again, I wish you all the best in your life, in your career. And uh, with you, we trust in the future of the banking sector. Students, Professor Rector, we, you can now join us on stage. De Rosa Julia. Fondok Mejile Joyce. Gomez Pablos Alberto. <clears throat> Hassa Shefikat. <clears throat> Hissi Tessi. Camphouse George. Krir Lisa. Pastilla Pereira Salome. Rodriguez Silva Fabiana Caterina. Ruthingsdorfer Thomas, <clears throat> Scholtes Maurice, Vitali Casanova Ricardo Maria, Vindels Timote. We're moving now to the Master of Science in Finance and Economics, Investment Management Track. Your study program director, Professor Stefanova, has also prepared a few remarks and would like to read them to you now. So I invite her to the stage. Thank you. Dear graduates of the Investment Management Track, it has been an immense pleasure and privilege to have accompanied you throughout those two years of your academic journey. It has made me immensely proud of your accomplishments, of your determination and resilience. Resilience because you have succeeded not only a very challenging academic program, 
you have also started your career, but you have done it all within the context of very, very challenging uh, global environment. And today we celebrate this success. What should I wish you going forward? Well, surely maintain your drive and curiosity and have confidence that you can bring positive change forward. And remember that your greatest and most fulfilling work lies ahead of you. Thank you and congratulations. Adriana Atanasiu. <applaudissements> Carla Candido. Melissa Giacometti. <applaudissements> Jetta Mario. <applaudissements> Claudia Gobetti. Adrien Jantarada. <applaudissements> Vincent Carger. <applaudissements> Sofiane Nekla. Vlad Pomirleanu. <applaudissements> Valentin Roulet. <applaudissements> Maria Toulgara. And Jun Feng Bang. The next diplomas to confer are from the Master of Science in Finance and Economics Risk Management Track. Now, your study program director, Professor Starry, excuses himself because he could not be here today, but he also left you with some words of congratulations. He says to you, congratulations for your graduation. This is a remarkable achievement, especially in the difficult times we are living. Now, you are equipped for a new adventure. As your work fills most of your life, doing what you believe is great work, is key for your happiness. You now have a unique chance to clear out the old and make way for the new. And do not forget to give opportunities back when, in the far future, your time to be cleared away will come. I wish 
you to find the motivation to never settle. Take risks. After all, you know how to manage those. I invite Professor Ligeti, Professor Palaj, and the students to come down to the side of the stage. Thank you. Elisa Dodbazik. Olga Kara. Cindy Machado. Alessio Manago. Sophie Oberfell. Victoria Pervukina. Juho Pietikainen. Frank Holgen. Tomislav Sarcevich. Sophie Serafini. Moving on to the Master of Science in Finance and Economics, Financial Economics track. Your study program director, Professor Konstantinos Tatsiramos, unfortunately couldn't be with us tonight. He sends his regrets and he also sent a few words. He says to you, congratulations for this great achievement. Best wishes on your next adventure. Short but sweet. Students, you may now come to the side of the stage. Biza Seman. Ana Vanessa Ferreira Duarte. <laughs> Thierry Hoffman.
Christopher Jack. Doeto Panou. Jean-Paul Madrigal Rodriguez. Adrien Sirbou. Dylan Tice. Et Julie Weyer. It's now time for the Master of Science in Finance and Economics. Professor Kulovatianus, your study program director, arrived just in time to say a few words to you. You can just call me Christo. So uh, many congratulations. As you all uh, know, climate change is a timely issue all the time. Now with uh, the issues that we have, in Europe with the war having to redefine the, all the energy policy. Uh, mobilizing private funds is a priority. And uh, so the floor is really yours in life, in markets. Real congratulations from the bottom of my heart. You are the future and thank you for giving us hope. Graduates, I invite you to come down for the conferment of your diplomas. Amkalar Dogukan. Beringer Yannick. Blom Max. Chen Yumeng. Diaz da Silva Jose Carlos. Fall NJ Penda. Flamang Lin Jacobi Lara Moroni Francesca. <laughs> Nikelski Steven.
Oliveira dos Santos Tony. Oliveira González Jordi. Onofray Marius. Pataki Gabor. Philippe Alexandre. Cherneva Inès. Vino Jacobs. We've now come to the last track of our Master of Science in Finance and Economics, and that is the Digital Transformation in Finance track. Your study program director, Dr. Zofia Kreuzel, is here today to say a few words to the graduates. So, my dear students, where are you? So, I really wanted to take the chance to again thank you in front of your friends and your family for the hard work, for the enthusiasm, for the curiosity, and for the criticism that led you to actually choose the newest study track of this master program under the umbrella of digital finance. You learned a lot. I learned a lot from you. So I am extremely thankful. As it was already mentioned beforehand, my doors are always open for you. In case you're interested in mentoring students, maybe you have interesting cases that you came across in your professional career, learning never stops. And so collaboration wouldn't either. So thank you very much and please now come, let us congratulate you. Arshad Farhan. <applaudissements> Binzi Zogo Emmanuel Cédric. Marie Céline. Jérôme Clémence.
Hôtelet Tom. Cheshka Selvi. Roibou Michaela. Tafsiu Enika. It's now time to confer the Master of Science in Quantitative Economics and Finance. Your study program director, Andreas Ehrmann, is here tonight, and he would like to say a few words to the graduates. Dear students of the Master of Science in Quantitative Economics and Finance, what an awkward name. Oh, there you are. Very good, very good. You chose this program because this is a research master. The research master teaches in addition to the state of knowledge in economics and finance, it teaches where this knowledge comes from, how it is created through scientific research and what it takes to create new scientific knowledge in the field of economics and finance. And first of all, I would like to thank you for your serious interest in research, in science in general, and to research and science in economics and finance in particular. Meanwhile, you have learned also that the creation of scientific knowledge is hard. It is sometimes very hard, or even damn hard. It takes perseverance and uh, stamina but at that stage, I can tell you that you did a fabulous job. You certainly belong to the best cohort that this program has seen since, in its, uh, since its inception, roughly 10 years ago. Congratulations on this, too. Now, as the course director and uh, all the professors that had the pleasure to teach you throughout the last year, I would like to congratulate on your scientific achievements. We wish you all the best for the next career steps stay healthy, and keep in touch. Thank you very much. You're way ahead of me, graduates. You can come down to the stage now. Natella Aguikian. <applaudissements> Mouad Ismaili. <applaudissements> Alexandros Kostontopoulos. Simone Copita. <applaudissements> Ti Hong Staron. <applaudissements> Armin Ton. <applaudissements> Gu 
Ganshimek Toumour Batar. Denis Vassiliev. Eng Yao. We're going to be wrapping up the diplomas from our departments of economics and management in the Department of Finance with the conferment of the Master in Wealth Management. Your study program director, Professor Jan Schiltz, is here with us today. <laughs> Very popular. <laughs> the mic is yours. Dear graduates, of the Master in Wealth Management and in five minutes alumni of our master, actually. You had a master in quite difficult conditions. You started during a pandemic, you finished in times of war. So actually, while you had to do all the hard work to get your diploma, there was not a lot of possibilities to organize out-of-work events for you. So it was not so easy. I'm very sorry for that. But I'm quite happy this morning I checked on your LinkedIn account. I have seen that actually nearly all of you have found a job in the Luxembourgish finance industry by now, so the end seems to have been well. Um, you started this master two and a half years ago, basically with me teaching statistics. So it's only fair that we also finish now with some statistics. Uh, don't be afraid, I will not start to teach. I just wanted to highlight a fact that is obviously true for all masters in the faculty. Uh, you are actually a cohort of 30 students and you are from 21 different nationalities. Uh, this makes really a very interesting group of diverse people and it was really a pleasure teaching and also interacting with you over these years. So congratulations for your achievement. Kevin Andronaco. <applaudissements> Anna Grazia Argentieri. <applaudissements> ben Beaver. Daniela Kelmis. <applaudissements> Sofia Tchupchenko. <applaudissements> Daphne Dijkstra. Pablo Echeverri. <applaudissements> Simeon Guise. <applaudissements> Gabriela Azarian. 
Océane Henry. Patricia Jute. Urara Kagajo. Erana Kuchi. Manor Mehdi. Julie Mocard. Marina Pachabit. Irina Popova. Alan Rachela. Bei Bei Shen. Inacia Letskaya. Takur Singh. Maximilian Thomaser, Exita Vazia, Cord Walter. Yan Zun. And Marius Yalouros. Excuse me, may I have your attention? The ceremony is not finished yet. I see some people are leaving, but in about three minutes, we'll be conferring the diplomas in law. So if everybody could come back to their seats, 
for the diplomas in law. Thank you. So we'll continue now with our diplomas in law. We're starting out with the Master en Droit Bancaire et Financier Européen, General Track. We have our study program director, Pierre-Henri Konek, to welcome to the stage to say a few words to our graduates. Thank you. Well, it's my great pleasure to deliver the uh, diplomas to the promotion of last year. It's been a great pleasure uh, to have you as students. It's been hard work. And also, the good news, it was also physical work because finally we could meet in person and teach not online. So it was a very nice experience to be back into the real uh, way of teaching, which I think is the best way to have a class, you know, the classic way, the way from Aristotle and Platon. Well, that's the way it works. <laughs> So it's nice to start it again. Uh, so I will be uh, representing also my colleague, Isabel Riaceto, who could not be here today, unfortunately, but would chance a warm greetings to this year promotion. And now I will invite you to join me on stage for the delivery of degrees. Juliana Antonova. <laughs> Elder Manuel Dacuña Gachinero. Enrico Dallemoulé, Juan Pablo del Compare, Thierry Marc Faber, David Pickers, Andrea Gissi. <applaudissements> Georges Michael Guy Gracia. <applaudissements> Chihau Huang. Lévi Landou. <applaudissements> Grégory Edouard Shelby Maricle. <applaudissements> Ernest Montel de Jesus. Xavier Frédéric Laurie Zalden, Charlotte van der Osten, the investment uh, funds low track, please.
So we are calling now the investment funds low track, please. Massimo Fabrizio Alva Gamboa. <applaudissements> François Jacques Pierre Bruno Barat. <applaudissements> Carlos Belondo Pastor. <applaudissements> Thomas Raphaël Clément Delage. Gonzalo Fernandez Vaquero. <applaudissements> Wiesel Alban Goué. <applaudissements> Kenza Hadadi. Ariti Kolovu Nicola Kopulo. <applaudissements> Thomas Latapi. <applaudissements> Julie Pauline Fanny Leclerc. Rebecca Gabriela Marchand. Margot Lexan Rémy. Thomas Philippe André Rich. Randy Scheffen. Georgios Constantinos Stavrou. We're moving on now to the Master en Droit et Contentieux de l'Union Européenne. I invite Study Program Director Professor Neframi to the stage to say a few words to her students. <coughs> Chers diplômés, en ce moment d'émotion pour vous et vos proches, en ce moment qui marque l'accomplissement de vos efforts, une étape décisive de votre vie, je voudrais vous dire également, au nom de l'équipe enseignante et de gestion du Master en droit et contentieux de l'Union, que nous sommes fiers de votre accomplissement, que nous partageons votre joie. Je voudrais vous remercier de votre confiance et vous assurer du plaisir que nous avons eu de vous accueillir au sein de notre formation et de vous accompagner en partie sur le chemin de la connaissance et de l'accomplissement et du développement personnel. Je voudrais vous présenter nos voeux les plus chaleureux pour une vie pleine de nouveaux défis, de progrès et de succès. Félicitations. Maria Beltran Ferrara. Giulia 
Champier. Julie Correa. Thelma da Palma Ferramacho. Martin Grunman, Elena Anicia Eresanou, Fei Mo, Inès Ukerimi. Léa Ragazzini, Nicolas Schmartz, Marie Talleux, Arthur Valentin, Now it is time to confer the Master in European Economic and Financial Criminal Law. Your study program director, Stefan Braun, is here to say a few words to the graduates. Monsieur le recteur, Madame la doyenne, uh, Monsieur Dame, Cher diplômé, uh, we are congratulating a very bizarre species of lawyers uh, with this diploma, uh, criminal lawyers. Uh, no one wants them uh, to approach, but you might, you might need them one day, uh, sometimes much, much quicker than you think. For instance, if at home by accident you find some cash in your gradles, and you don't know where it comes from, uh, and you even, or you even affirm not to know where it comes from, then you might need these guys um, in the future. So it goes very quickly. Gestern noch beim Emir haut am Knasch. So this, uh, this, this, this can, be, can be problematic. So we live, we live indeed in, in very fast-moving times. Um, and the law, criminal law, is particularly uh, as a whole, uh, is a subject to permanent and, and disruptive changes in many ways. So our knowledge that we gain becomes very quickly obsolete, and situations, as can be shown uh, just currently, change very rapidly. But you have learned, not only in the master, but maybe also in the bachelor years before, hopefully, to deal uh, with new knowledge and also with new situations through, above all, critical thinking, through questioning what is, what is existing, um, and not last, not last but not least, through a compass of legal principles and values that point the way. In view of this acceleration that we're all exposed to uh, nowadays, I would like to congratulate you uh, by throwing the following quote in front of you. It stems from a, a politician that in my younger days, so far a long time ago, was kind of my hero, um, Willy Brandt. You might not even know them, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I quote it anyway, uh, because I think it's nice, it's nice to quote. The quote it reads as follows. Nothing happens automatically, and only few things last. Therefore, be mindful of your strength and of the fact that every era wants its own answers, and you have to be up to its speed in order to be able to do good. So make good things.
Congratulations. Manon Ahmet. Gaetano Ancona. Grazia Bruzzese. Emilie da Grassa Delgado. <applaudissements> Kelly da Silva Alves. Carolina de Carvalho Diaz. Manon Fornieri. Gabriela Fragomeni Tagliari. <applaudissements> Salima Gartomi El Idrissi. Daniela Gonçalves Valente. <rires> Elias Gididi. Gloria Kembabazi. <applaudissements> Julie Kemmer. <applaudissements> Sophie Claire Kramer. Juan Liu, Vera Officier, Valeria Palumbo. Jessica Rodriguez Maciel. <applaudissements> Kiara Salemi. <applaudissements> Deborah Suarez Sacras.
Angela Sophia Judith Sturies. Anne van Knotsenborg. <applaudissements> Antoine Villance. We're moving on to our Master in European and International Tax Law with study program co-director Werner Haas, Lena, who would like to say a few words to the graduates. Thank you very much, dear graduates, dear members of family. In an attempt to stick with two time, I will not ad lib my remarks, but rather read them out. I'm delighted to see you here also on behalf of uh, my co-director, uh, Professor Katarina Pandasatu. Um, just want to say you have mastered uh, one of the fast changing fields of law, have integrated international, European and domestic uh, rules of the greatest complexity and that is uh, surely something to congratulate you. Completing our challenging and I dare say probably at sometimes grueling uh, coursework over this uh, year, I hope you realize that this has put you into um, a small elite of uh, experts in this uh, particularly challenging area of law. We're aware of this um, and uh, of the importance and value of your education both now and also in the decades uh, to come of your career. You know that your education journey is not complete here, um, but I hope that you have gained confidence from your successful results. The confidence of knowing that with this master, you not only earn a certificate of master in tax law as it stands today, but also proof of your ability to adapt and respond to new challenges that will face you tomorrow and throughout your professional career. Dear graduates, my warmest congratulations on this day of celebration and thank you for representing our university and our program in Luxembourg and around the world. All the best to you. Maxime Barthez. <applaudissements> Céleste Beltrami. <applaudissements> Lodovico Bolis. Sarah Bonenfant. <applaudissements> Iman El Ouarak. <applaudissements> Julie Gaugenot. Georges 
Jette John. Elisa Halm. Sergine Klutz. Ropa Fazzo Machiri. Anthony Rached. Mathilde Steckler. Amat Cyrus. Kahn Tomboul. Peter Vedev. Kelly Winan. We now come to our Master in European Business Law. We have tonight Professor Stierler, co-director of the program, who would like to say a few words to the graduates. Dear graduates, you made it after one hard year. And it's truly an honor to congratulate you, also in the name of the co-directors, to your big achievement. It's really a truly achievement. It's you graduated in one of the best master programs in European business law. Congratulations. And this achievement is uh, obviously the fruit of some hard work. It's about attending many classes. Uh, it's about uh, passing many, many exams. It's about studying during late hours at night, and so on and so forth. Nonetheless, I truly hope that uh, once you find the time to think back and reflect on your last year, that the first memory that will pop up in your head is not the hard work that you delivered, um, it's more the kind of great moments that you had, that we had in the Weicker building. I truly um, think one of these moments is obviously my class in intellectual property law, um, but there might be many other things, the friends you made, the experience uh, that you made, the knowledge and skills that you gained. I wish you all the best for your professional life. I also wish you all the best for your private life. And I'm looking very much forward to staying in touch with you. All the best for the future. Pierre-Andrea Caligiuri. Laura Cipriano. <applaudissements> Tiffen Dourte. <applaudissements> Sarah Frexo Magalaes. Cécile Meyer, Michael Moreira da Silva, Erika 
Petroskienne. Lilian Racine. Marianne Schmidt. Alexandra Sophronis. Now we come to the last diploma that we will confer this evening. But the ceremony is not over. We'll be coming back after a short musical interlude. This is the Master in Space, Communication, and Media Law. And your study program directors, Mark Cole and Maolena, have left a word for you. But they're also here this evening. So I will read the word. Dear students, we would like to warm heartily congratulate you on the occasion of your graduation. You have chosen a demanding and fast-changing area of law as specialization for your master's studies and have successfully shown your agility in dealing with current legal challenges from a theoretical perspective. We now wish you the best of luck and good success while embarking into new adventures and applying your knowledge to the real world, where the development continues at the same pace, from the media environment to space exploration. Thank you. Mario Geza. Maria Alexandra Paduraro. Deborah Tozzi. Teresa Valero Martin.
And now, we're going to talk about our alumni network. And to do that, I'd like to welcome to the stage Andy Adams, our Senior Alumni Relations Specialist, who's going to say a few words about the network and how you can benefit from joining it. That was the official version of what I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is give you your last exam. Three questions, two you can do by raising your hands, the third one, some people are gonna have to stand up. So first, who's rooting for Morocco tonight? Raise your hands. Okay, who's rooting for France tonight? If the game was happening right now, stand up if you wouldn't be here, you'd be home watching the game. Okay, that's interesting. I missed my master graduation because of a sporting event. I had tickets for the Olympics in Barcelona, and I had the choice of going to the Olympics or going to my graduation. I chose the Olympics, so not as good as you guys are. So this may be the end of your time as students at the University of Luxembourg, but it's the beginning of the rest of your lives as alumni. And when you started your master two years ago, I started about one wee month after you guys did, so there wasn't an alumni network two years ago, but now there is, and in 2023, we're really ready to take flight. So the first phase of this network is focused on our new graduates, it's you, and you should have received an email to inviting you to register for the alumni network already. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the alumni network now. And it starts with email. You're the first graduating class to have the option of getting an alumni email address, and even migrating your student inbox to your new alumni inbox if you choose to do so. And I know there's a couple people out there that even attended our first alumni event in November, so you're definitely the first graduating class that could have done that. But that's only the beginning. We want to be with our alumni every step of the way, and we've developed the Grad Pack, which is a series of benefits and services to help you get established in the professional world. Now on screen, you should see some logos there. It's uh, three different categories of partnerships that we've created. The first one is with university services, which you've extended to alumni now. For example, the Career Center and Job Teaser platform. And also, you have discounted courses for, I, I think there's a lot of speakers that talked about how you're gonna be learning for your entire lives. You have a 20% discount at the Competence Center for the rest of your lives as alumni. And you also have discounts at the Confucius Institute if you'd like to learn Chinese. And I know there's entrepreneurs out there. Yasser was here before, I think another person too. You can, if you have an entrepreneurial bent, you can still benefit from the services of the Incubator and Entrepreneurship Program as alumni. Now, the second set of partners are networking and service organizations. And you'll find that no matter what you're doing, networking is a hugely important thing for your careers, whether you know it now or not. Um, and in Luxembourg, it's really easy to network. You just need access to these organizations, which is usually done only on a corporate membership. So what we've done at the level of the alumni network is we've become the corporate member, and you as our graduates have access to these organizations uh, at either discounted or free membership rates, at least for the first year. The third set of partners on screen are media partners, so very important to stay informed in the right way when you graduate, and uh, if you prefer English, or si vous préférez le français, ou sortez libre auf Deutsch lesen, you'll find a media partner for you on screen. Now, when I arrived two years ago, in the middle of the pandemic, uh, a lot of people asked me, where can I buy a school hoodie? And I said, I'll find out for you. What I found out was it wasn't that easy. Uh, they were available at Welcome Day and other university events on campus, which most of our alumni are not. So we did something about it. And in the last three months, the university has partnered with a local company in Bertrange to launch two online stores, one store featuring the university logo, and the other one featuring the new alumni logo, just in time for the holidays. And 2023, as we said, we'll be really ready to, to fly. Uh, at the bottom right, you see the mock-up of the new alumni platform, which will be launched in 2023, where all of our alumni activities and communications will be organized. There's even gonna be an Android and Apple mobile apps for this platform. But being alumni is not only about receiving benefits and services, it's also about giving back to the university. And I think one of the professors mentioned about how the importance of mentoring, 
Now, our new platform will help automate that process or manage it for everybody. But there's two things you can do right away to give back to the university. The first thing is joining the alumni network, which 270 of you have already done. And the second is filling out the graduate survey, which you sort of received this week, because that graduate survey is incredibly important to the university to get feedback to improve its programs. And we want to recognize this initial alumni engagement through these two activities, and we found a way to do so. So with the graduates from 2021, we developed the concept of a class fund, which would be a reinvestment in the university, which the university would do on the class's behalf. And we're going to do the same thing with the 2022 student delegation to define what to do. It works very simple. When you join the alumni network, and when you fill out the graduate survey, the university will contribute five euros to the class fund. And so if 270 people have already registered today, that means we've, our, your class has already generated over 1,300 euros for the 2022 class fund. So congratulations on your graduation. I'm going to change how I usually end based on the Albert Schweitzer quote earlier. Uh, Chantal will get this. There's a kid's song in the States that goes, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, OK. Everybody knows that one. When you're happy and you know it, look in the mirror, clap your hands, and appreciate the moment. You've all experienced the last couple of years where just when you thought things might be getting better or different, that life will throw you a curveball. Those curveballs are a lot easier to handle if you, when you're happy and you know it, you recognize it, you enjoy the moment, knowing that that moment could change at any time, and that'll give you the strength when it does change and times are not so happy to get through it. So congratulations, thanks again, and now you're going to see a video about the graduate survey that I just mentioned. Thanks. The reason why your feedback matters is because it will also benefit the later generations of students. Next year's students, the year after, we can tell them how well you've done. We've got you as a contact. We've also got the fact that your feedback will help us to adjust those programs, the programs that you've done. Congratulations to all our new PhD graduates. Well done. I am sure you have a lot of points to discuss with us, to give us feedback about your doctoral studies. So. Now is the time to do exactly this. Let us know what did you like during the four years at our university. Did you like your academic environment? Did you benefit from the course offer to collect your ECTS points? And what about your PhD supervisor? Did he or she give you a lot of good and valuable guidance? There's also more personal reasons. For example, are your language skills the ones that you needed? Thinking about your own career progression, did you aim to stay in Luxembourg? Have you been able to stay in Luxembourg? If not, are you finding jobs in the greater region? Are you finding jobs in other countries? If you have graduated from our university, you will receive the survey at two points in time. For the first time, you will receive the questionnaire six months after graduation, and it will be in December of the year when you are graduating. Then you will receive the second questionnaire one year and a half after graduation, you will receive an invitation to the survey to your private email address. We really appreciate your feedback. It's very valuable and important to us. We are proud of your success. We need your input to help us say what your successes are and to also help others to be successful in the future. Merci beaucoup. Vielen Dank. Vielmals merci. Thank you very much, Andy, for having reminded us how important it is to stay connected after graduation and how valuable the network that we offer is. I would like to personally encourage you to respond to the graduate survey that our Vice Rector, Professor Agru, just presented. It gives us a lot of helpful information to improve the student experience at our faculty for those students who will come after you. To close the ceremony, I would like to express my gratitude to all the professors, adjunct teachers, study program directors, study program administrators for their dedication and commitment to our study programs. 
Your dedication to your students shines through the words that you just addressed to them. I would like now to invite all of us to applaud once again the FDRF 2022 Masterclass. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to invite all of us to join for a cocktail at the Maison des Arts et des Étudiants to toast on your success and achievements.